thoughts of you two, simply on the like here. And today we have the elegant, the beautiful, the 2004 Command Knight 10 opening, you guys. And then we'll ask you to check out the channel and subscribe for more epic Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. I'm super excited for this 10, you guys. It is the classic 10. It has the Dark Crisis, the Invasion of Chaos, the Magician's Force, the Ancient Sanctuary, and the Veronica Guardian. Some of the most awesome classic sets in this 10. And uh, it's going to be freaking epic. And so uh, I also want to thank our friends at Ultra Pro for the beautiful. Is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon playmat? The elegant and beautiful to go with the Command Knight, of course. Got the ladies. And uh, yeah, so thank you Ultra Pro. I'll also use some orange, uh, just regular Ultra Pro sleeves for these foils inside here. And also, uh, a lot of you guys have been sending me a lot of message, uh, messages lately on just what's going on with uh, the Simply Unlucky collection, the studio. Um, and just how, how uh, I've kind of been doing since I was robbed a couple years back, if you guys remember that. And uh, it's, it's going pretty well. Um, I plan to actually do an update video pretty soon for you guys, maybe this week even, uh, just on what's going to be going on and this whole YouTube apocalypse thing and just how uh, the collection's doing since getting robbed and stuff like that. And I wanted to do like a June madness, kind of, or summer madness for you guys, and I was going to start it in June because right now I'm still finishing finals for school and whatnot. And it's, it's pretty, getting pretty crazy. So, uh, but yeah, so I'll do an update video pretty soon just on all of that, uh, what's going on, and uh, so that'll be pretty cool. Okay, so let's get started with this Command Night 10 opening, 2004. I wanted to get something classic for you guys today. Um, actually, I don't think we've opened Command Night on this channel since like 2013 or 12 or something, so it's been a good four years or something. So, I'm actually pretty excited for this right here, right now. So, we have the Command Night. As you can see, she's right there. And actually, I thought this was a dude for the longest time. No joke. I don't know about you guys, but so they kind of take away, you know, the, the cleavage and stuff for the, the American cards here. So we can immediately sit. That is beautiful. Look at that. Command Knight. Four star, 1200 attack, 1900 defense. Um, I remember using this card back in the day, but the problem was the deck that was good using warriors was a earth beatdown deck and command knight was fire i really never understood that if she would just been earth she would have been extraordinary so command knight says here as long as as long as at least one other monster exists on your side of the field your opponent cannot select this card as an attack target also as long as this card remains face on the field increase the attack of all warrior type monsters by 400 including herself so it's a 1600 basically um that just was really good if it would have been Earth, because then it could have been used like Marauding Captain and stuff like that, and Guy Power, um, just really cool combos there. But still, still a good card and was fun, and people still use it. I think in the Warrior Beatdown deck back in the day, bringing back those classic memories with Command Knight, Command Knight. And then we have our booster packs here: Ancient Sanctuary, Invasion of Chaos, The Dark Crisis, Magician's Force, and Pharaonic Guardian. So this is going to be pretty awesome. Let's put that tin in the corner there. All right, so you guys, so I think let's start with the Egypt, Egypt packs first. So let's do Ancient Sanctuary. And uh, let's definitely, let's start with a whiff for these awesome classic packs. Oh, okay, I'm ready to go now. So we've been getting pretty unlucky with our tins lately, guys. We've, I don't need like one foil maybe. So we're really hoping to get at least one foil. I mean, that would be nice. Two would be incredible. Three would be pretty pretty godly. So uh, just at least one though for now. These are the class classic packs. Just uh, just get something out of here would be nice. We got the backfire, three hump Lakuda, earthquake, piranha army, and starting strong with a super rare card, agent of force Mars. Wow, it's been a while since I've seen this guy. Um, he has three stars, zero attack. This card is unaffected by any spell cards. So if he was water, he wouldn't have got, would not get pumped by Umi. <laughs> if there is a Sanctuary of the Sky on your side of the field, and your life points are higher than your life, opponent's life points, increase the attack and defense of this card by the difference. That's pretty cool. So we'll go ahead and sleeve that up. And from Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, we have Order to Charge, Mermaid Knight, Ninjutsu Art of Freezing, Transformation, and Arcane Archer of the Forest. A lot of cool cards here. Order to Charge. One of the most powerful cards in Duel Links. And so we'll go ahead and sleeve that up. We actually got a freaking foil in our first pack. That is awesome. All right. 
And back to Egypt, the Fraun of Guardian. Guys, we had that booster box battle between Fraun of Guardian and Ancient Sanctuary. The Battle of Egypt, that was fun. I want to do another one of those. I love the classic booster box battles. All right, we have Curse of Aging. Can we get another foil card in these packs, you guys? Seriously, it's it's really hard. And I I don't even know. We haven't pulled a secret in so long. It would be really, really nice to pull a secret. Curse of Aging. Yomi Ship. Maiden of the Aqua. My favorite card in this set. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Giant Axe Mummy. The Dark Geroid. Great Keeper's Guard. Hieroglyph. A Lithograph. Cruel. And Buster Rancher. I just thought that card was interesting. Very nice. Got that Maiden of the Aqua. Okay, and what next, you guys? Dark Geroids. When, actually, when Dark Gerard came out, it was a pretty interesting card because it could take down pretty much any four-star monster that was being used at the time, and it was a dark. So, um, Man, Magician's Force and Invasion of Chaos are like two of my favorite sets by far, so let's do Dark Crisis first. Dark Crisis is still... Still in the top 10, though. Come on, foil cards, you guys. Exodia Necross is in this set. Ray of Hope. Ninken Dog, a ninja dog who has mastered extreme ninjutsu. He has battled Naruto and even almost won. Dark Scorpion, Mane the Thorn. Uh, one of the better Dark Scorpion cards. Arsenal Robber. And nice and ultra rare, Guardian Girl. <laughs> wow, two foils. The insanity, guys, it's here. Oh, baby. Guardian Grarl, it's been a while, my friend. Uh, speaking of order to charge and duel links, that goes well with the dinosaur cards, and Guardian Grarl can actually fit into the dinosaur deck if you're playing the Gravity Axe. So that's funny. That is cool. Because then he's a 2800, I believe, with the dino, or the dinosaur land, whatever it's called, field spell. Cannot be a normal summon, flip summon, or special summon. Um... When there's gravity, can o oh, can only be normal flipped or special summon if there's gravity extra on your side of the field. If this card's the only card in your hand, you can special summon it without offering a tribute. Interesting. Guardian Axe Guraral. That is so awesome. We actually pulled two foils. I feel like it's been so long. Like, way too long. Uh, Cestus of Dalga. Really eternal rest and drag down into the grave. Rod of Silence, KS. Nice Dark Crisis. We got an ultra rare Guardian Guraro. Now we just need that secret rare card. Man, if we're shooting for secrets, we have two of the most powerful slash valuable secret rares from these two sets right here with uh, Envoy of the End and Dark Magician Girl. So that'd be pretty cool if we actually pulled those. Um, let's do Invasion of Chaos because I feel like it's been so long since we've done Magician's Force. I believe in the heart of the cards. Do you? Come on, foil card. Let's go for the godly, you guys. Godly, we, that means we get more foils than rares. Let's do this. Balganian. DNA transplant. Sea serpent warrior of darkness. The warrior that defends the world of the sea of darkness. Prides himself with his fighting prowess. Chaos end. Wow. Compulsory evacuation device. If we're going to get a rare, though, that's a really awesome rare to get from Invasion of Chaos. Compulsory evacuation device. That go giga gaga gigo. Lord Poison, nice common. Soul Absorption, big on knave. And Amphibious Burgoth Mark III. Wow. Classic cards. All right, you guys. Now we're into the final pack of Destiny Magician's Force. If we can get a foil out of here, that'll be three foils out of five packs. The godliness. Are you guys ready? Give it to us. Gaiba! Here we go. You know what? We're going to have to take a whiff. Oh, I feel the heart of the cards. This is it. That 2004 air pouring in. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. dun. Freezing beast. People were running about. Magical plant mandragola. Hidden book of spell. And anti. Still an awesome open opening pulling two foil cards, you guys. It's been a long time. Still the insanity. Union Rider. Metal Silver Armor. Roll that to barrel. And White Dragon Ritual. Although they always suffer in silence, they swear an oath to inevitably revolt. The people were running about. I remember uh, Roll Out Barrel back in the day was always pretty nice. 2000 Defense, Light Monster could possibly kill things by rolling a dice. That's nice. 
All right, so a uh, little recap for this epic classic 2014 opening. We got three rares, two foils. We have the compulsory, the anti, and the dark Jeroid here. Monster, magic, and trap. I guess it was spell card by 2004. And then we had three foil cards. We had the command knight from the tin. We had agent of force Mars. And for the insanity, we had an ultra rare guardian, Gararl. Gee, that could have been Exodia Necros, but still. Still pretty cool to get two foils out of a tin. It's been a while. Man, I love these classic cards. Oh, I gotta get some more 2004 tins. Alright, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to give this video a thumbs up. And stay tuned, like I said, for that update video where we talk about all the cool shenanigans we were going over in the beginning of this video. And simply, oh, another lucky signing out.